Hey folks, welcome back, Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about significant figures. Now, this is something that you probably wouldn't have done in National 5, but we are interested in looking at it now for higher physics, so let's get into it. The whole point in looking at significant figures is because when we're doing calculations in higher physics, your final answer needs to be stated using an appropriate number of significant figures. So no longer I have you to write down final answers with 10 digits, five digits, things like that. We wanna see nice, rounded answers with a reasonable number of significant figures. So let's start looking at the four main rules to decide whether a number is a significant figure first of all. So the first one is that any non-zero digit and zero in between two non-zero digits is a significant figure. So for example the number 405 seconds, 405 seconds, has three significant figures and it would be the same as uh, say like 14 would be two significant figures, 415 would be three significant significant figures as well just because there would be three non-zero digits. So if you've got a zero in the middle that still counts as a significant figure. The next one is leading zeros. So leading zeros in a number, i.e. zeros before a non-zero digit, are not counted as significant figures. So for example, 0 0.005 amps has only one significant figure which is the five. So the zeros would not count um, before uh, the, the non-zero digit there, okay, and they are, they are called leading zeros. So those leading zeros are not counted as significant figures. Zeros after a non-zero digit, and there's two cases for this one that we'll look at. So the first one is for decimal numbers. So if we're looking at a decimal number, then the trailing zeros are counted as significant figures. For example, the number 7.00 meters has three significant figures because we do count these trailing zeros after the decimal point. But if our number is not a decimal, then the trailing zeros do do not count as significant figures. For example, if we look at the number 42,000 volts, this would have two significant figures because these three trailing zeros do not count in that whole number. So we've seen that the whole point of doing significant figures is because we need to round our final answers in our higher physics calculations. And as a general rule, your answer should have no more significant figures than the least accurate value in the question. So that would be the one with the least number of significant figures. You will, however, get away with two or more or one less than the least accurate value in the question. So a good kind of go-to would be to round your answer to one or two decimal places, and that will usually be within this range. So let's look at an example of this. Um, so if a rocket motor produces 4,570 newtons of thrust to a rocket with a mass of 7.0 kilograms, what is the acceleration of the rocket? Well, you would do your F equals MA, Newton's second law here, um, just to calculate your acceleration. So if you rearrange for your acceleration, you would do your 4,570 newtons divided by 7.0, and you should get an answer of this on your calculator. So 652.8571429 meters per second squared. However, the least accurate value we are given in the question is the value of the mass, because this was given as 7.0, which is two significant figures. Remember, that is your trailing zero in a decimal number there, so we do count it. And this number over here is three significant figures because we do not count that uh, trailing zero in the non-decimal number. Okay, so that is three significant figures for the 457. So our least accurate value here is the 7.0 for the mass, which is two significant figures. So we need to round our final answer to two significant figures. So that means if I'm rounding 652.85 and so on, if I want that in two significant figures, then I would round it to 650 meters per second squared because the zero there does not count as a significant figure. Here's a top tip for you. If you think you're gonna to struggle to remember those four rules for significant figures, then there's a way around it, okay? And the way around it is to state all your final answers with scientific notation, okay? Because every digit in scientific notation will be a significant figure. So if I had a final answer, say, of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, then that will be two significant figures because the one and the six count as my two significant figures. So just to summarize then, when we're doing calculations, you need to state your answers to an appropriate number of significant figures. As a general rule, we can have no more than the least accurate value in the question. Um, however, you do get away with two more or one less than the least accurate value in the question. So why not just round your answers to one or two decimal places and use scientific notation to state your final answers. And that way, you'll always make sure your answers are gonna be reasonable. So that's all from me. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.